Happy Thanksgiving <laughs> Eve. It's Chuck Karstensen, and I am excited to get my first shot at doing something new at seven. And on this Thanksgiving Eve, we are going to talk about giving thanks and praise to God. So if you've watched or tuned into some of these before, a lot of times there's been a reading or a verse or something that's shared from one of the pastors, whoever's done this message. Today, I am reading from a devotional, and it's one that I've actually written. I've been writing devotionals and sharing them to my blog for several months. This one's not yet been shared, so you're the first one to hear about it. And it's right in front of me, a little bit above this on my screen. So here it goes. It's The verse is from Psalm 9, 1 through 2. It goes, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. And then the message that follows is, by now, hopefully you know the power of giving God praise and offering up prayers of thanksgiving. Often this month, we do this even a little bit more. We focus on thanksgiving. But perhaps we can recall times in our life, and in 2020 has been especially difficult for people, where we'd like to talk about things that aren't going well or are not ideal. So perhaps it's partially because we've been surrounded by people all our lives that have done this and it's been hard to break that habit of talking about the things that aren't going well. Here's the solution. Do what's said in this verse. Tell of God's wonders. And for you, count all your blessings. Offer up thanks and praise for as much as you can think of. Also take it a step further and affirm the wonders of God that will be coming to you. Speak blessings into your life as part of your prayer. Praise God for what's about to happen, the good things you expect. Thank God for the goodness you are about to see. Speak with faith, speak with power about the things that are not as though they were. And see how many more of the wonders of God start to unfold right before your eyes. Rejoice in the things that go well and the things that seem to be a little bit of a setback. Rejoice in God's goodness and give thanks and praise to God as often as possible. Not always easy to do. We focus on it a little bit more this time of year. And it's a chance to take it even a step further by giving thanks and praise for what's about to happen, the good things you want to see in your life. So that's the part of the message, some hope and encouragement, and now our prayer that I offer up through this. Lord, I will sing praises to your name. You fill my heart with goodness and joy. As I offer up extra praise and thanksgiving this time of year, I have a great number of your wonders to tell about. And as I move forward, I speak wonders that are about to happen into being and give thanks for your goodness in all situations. So I know when they uh, do their prayers, they're not reading them, but that's right from my devotional. I wanted to, again, say happy Thanksgiving. Uh, watch this again if you want to get the message as far as offering up praise and thanksgiving for the things that are going on in your life. Good, not as great as you'd like, and the things that are about to come. It's a great way to look forward for the rest of the year that God's wonders are all around us. And that's what he'd like us to do, to offer up thanks and praise. Have a blessed night and a blessed Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching.